Fort Canaveral, where we're about to ride the Disney Dream. And a... it's your birthday. Yeah, it is. Happy birthday, birthday to me. <laughs> yeah, so we're going on a four night cruise, Halloween on the high seas, where we'll be stopping at Nassau, and then we'll also be stopping at Castaway Key with a sea day booked at the end of it. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. All right, we've made it into the terminal. Oh, and check it out. It's Captain Mickey. How fun. And the Disney magic. Some of the movies that are playing in the Buena Vista Theater, Toy Story 4, Lion King, Aladdin. That's the live action Lion King. Family movie fun time, Toy Story 4, and Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. So here we have our navigator. You can see that on Monday night, we've got, which is tonight, we've got the Golden Mickeys, and it's Cruise Casual. And then on Tuesday, we've got the Beauty and the Beast show, wonderful show. We saw that the last time we were on the Dream. It's probably the best uh, nighttime entertainment show that I've seen on a cruise ship. Uh, and then it's Halloween and Cruise Casual tomorrow night. And then on Wednesday night, it's Pirate Night. And also, they're showing Maleficent at the Walt Disney Theater. And then on Thursday, you've got Disney's Believe. And it's optional dress up. So we got some fun stuff. Oh, and we've got the chimes. You know what that means. It's time to go through that Mickey Funnel. All right, it's our boarding group, boarding group four. Look at the Mickey funnel. It makes up his ears. Now we're going in, waving bye to everybody at the port. <laughs> Captain Mickey says, welcome aboard. All righty, we are boarding this magnificent ship. Ooh, don't look down. All right, we're about to board the lobby of the magnificent Disney dream. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, look at the tree right there, the Halloween. Wow. Amazing decorations. Look at the pumpkins. At the railings. And the Halloween on the high seas. That's awesome. So cool. Check out this cool Mickey pumpkin. Look at this decorations in this lobby. It's very festive. Very fall. <laughs> There's spider webs on the guest services desk. What a nice touch. Check out these cool pumpkins and all the portholes. There's us looking back at Port Canaveral. But check out these pumpkins. What a great touch. That and the spider webs. On the guest services desk, starting to feel really spooky around here. So a really cool tip that we actually found out about not too long ago, actually on the Fantasy Cruise, um, you can get these Disney gift cards, apply them to your stateroom account, and it acts as like a credit. So then uh, what we've done in the past is, um, once the cruise is booked, uh, we'll go out and buy several Disney gift cards uh, over an extended period of time and then all at once when we get on the ship first thing we do is apply it to the stateroom account and it's like you've kind of paid for everything and the goal is at the end of every cruise to have a zero balance on that piece of paper that they stick on your door and check out this cool pumpkin tree so cool even like the leaves inside his mouth what a great, great touch. It's really incredible to think how quickly they set this up in between itineraries too, which is pretty incredible. All right, so as we do with every first day on the ship, we always go to Cabanas first. Let's go. All right, Jen's digging in. What are you getting? Getting some sourdough. That's a good start. Get you some of that butter on a stick. Yum. And then Jen gravitates toward that nasty seafood. Mm. Got steamed rice, oh, no, pork and chow. Chow mein. Mm, chow mein. Pork and chow mein. It looks like they've got buttered sauteed asparagus, lamb chops, mashed potatoes. 
chicken breast. We got French fries, macaroni and cheese, chicken tenders, pasta. Check out the artwork in the cantaloupe. It's pretty neat. Oh, and the pizza, my favorite section. I got some shrimpies. Some shrimpies. Grilled chicken, mashed potatoes, bread, pork lo mein, and some mussels. We got a great view of Port Canaveral. What'd you get? <laughs> So let me explain here. I, I'm a man child and I got pizza, french fries, some bread, some ranch for the french fries because I'm a man child. Alright Jen, what'd you get for dessert? I already ate by my cookie. Okay. Got pumpkin pie and a fruit salad. I want to try nice. this pumpkin pie. Try the pumpkin pie. That's very It festive. smells good. Pretty good. Not pretty as good. like, it smells more. Smells better potent than it tastes. Than what it is, yeah. It's not as potent. -y Actually, one, one more. One more bite. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. All right. Not the best pump. Not the best pumpkin pie. We have found it. We have found it. Guava juice. <laughs> yes, the orange passion fruit guava. So good. Very good. Very refreshing too. Not carbonated. Like Jamba juice. Yeah, it tastes just like That's Jamba juice. Yeah. We are in 8646. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute! Oh yeah. Uh -huh. We got the Halloween on the high seas. <laughs> Little ghost. <laughs> That's soft. Oh wow, oh, that is. Atlanta. It's that, that Sherpa. <gasps> wow. Oh, it's just a bag. Just the stuff. bag. A little pillow. A plush pillow. <laughs> what does it say? Prepare, Prepare to, to be scared. scared. Aww. And, and going batty. And a little Halloween trick or treat Aww. bag. <laughs> How adorable. <laughs> the ghosts. Do they light up? I think oh, they glow in the dark though. Glow in the dark. Yeah, they glow in the dark. <laughs> That's cool. This is Happy Halloween. <laughs> so Jen has some magnets we need to put on the door. So we've got. The pirate, pirate Pete. pirate Pete from the previous cruise, and the star, and the star, and then we've got a new one, which is the okay, itinerary. Go right there, it's kind of Take cute. a look at that, the tourist track, Halloween on the high seas, and our destinations. That's pretty neat. And then we got subscribe now. Yes, do it. Like we'll here? put that one right there. Perfect. And then these two up here. Yeah, our previous cruises. We did the dream last year, and then of course the seven night cruise on the fantasy. We'll put these two like right Yeah. Oh, Good I job. Love it. Remember when we were on the fantasy and you were like, I wanted so magnets. I'm so happy now. Now we have a fun looking door. I love it. So now that we're settled into the stateroom, I think we should give a little circle tour of our stateroom. What do you say, Jen? Yes. Jen's hiding. <laughs> I didn't want to she's be in the right way. Over, she's right there. <laughs> Maybe I'll sit on the balcony. Hi, Jen. <laughs> All right, you want to be the host and give us the tour? <clears throat> Closet number one. We got our safe. Our laundry bag. Flip flops already in there. Mm -hmm. Which I might put on. <laughs> yep. And then what else do we have? Closet number two. Closet number two. It's Ow. a little dark. We've got our life vest. N is for where we're supposed to go to our assembly station. And then the bathroom number one. Bathroom number one. Why are the lights not turning on? There they are, yay! Got the bathroom. Say hello! <laughs> Alright, on to the next bathroom. Signature Disney Cruise Line. Two bathrooms. Oh yeah! Tub. Shower. No. Well, it's pretty much the same layout as our last, but yeah. flipped. Yeah. So, if I go standing inside, ugh, get an idea. I've got four fingers. I'm 5'11". I've got four fingers until I hit the top. What about me? I'll show a girl's perspective. Okay, let's do that. I have that much. <laughs> it's like 10 fingers. Yeah, <laughs> all the fingers. And as you can see, they have switched to the Pump. pumps, which is typical of Disney Cruise Line right now. And we've got 
our drawers. Our port adventures. Port adventures. Nassau. Nassau. Bippity boppity boutique. <laughs> our lovely bed. Ghost number one, ghost number two, and ghost number three and four. <laughs> Got our Mickey pillow as part of the Halloween on the High Seas package. Obviously not all the rooms come with this. We paid extra. We paid a well, little extra. Um, I can't remember the exact price, but we paid a little bit extra to have all the decorations because I thought it would be cool and to get in the festive theme. And we don't really have a lot of Halloween stuff at home. So. No, it's not. Now either. we do. Woo! Woohoo! We got our TV. Oh. And our fridge. Yes. It's empty. And then another thing. Another cabinet. All right. And then we've got, if you want to do like room service and stuff yes. in the morning. So if you wanted to do room service in the morning, you fill out one of these and the delivery time and what you want and you just hang it on your door the night before. Uh, I think technically, yeah, 3 a.m. before 3 a.m and they'll deliver to you during that time. It's a pretty neat feature. Uh, more drawers. More drawers. And then our balcony oh, oh or veranda. Oh, I need my thumb lamp. It's pretty loud and bright. Yay. We have the sun right now. Yeah, we got the sunlight. You can see they are loading all the goods for this four night cruise. There's the port. That is the parking garage. If you choose to park in the parking garage, you just take that little walkway over, go through security, and then you board the ship right there. We are in the aft of the ship, so we're in the back side of the ship. But we got a full ship tour coming up real soon. Uh, I believe it'll be... Right now, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go right now. So check out these cool cups, say Halloween on the high seas, or hydrating up before the sail away party, right now. To Nassau. Bye. And then Castaway. And then I'm just gonna stay there. And then we're gonna leave Jen there. <laughs> I'm no, just I'm gonna stay there. <laughs> no, we're gonna leave. I'm gonna stay there. <laughs> so yeah. Here we go. Woo! We're off. Bye. Sailing away. And here we are leaving Port Canaveral. Waving goodbye to everyone. Goodbye. See you in four days. See you in four days, everyone. You can see way out there the port pilot about to get back on his boat. He has let us out of the port. And there you have it.
He's turning around and going back to port. See you later. Bye. Thanks for guiding us out. Off we go. See you later, Florida. First order of business, ice cream. Ice cream time. Jen's going with chocolate. Wow, look at that. So Jen, how was that ice cream? The best, because it's on the Disney Cruise Line. <laughs> Yay. Yay, ice cream. So we're just gonna hang out, right? Yeah. Maybe walk around the ship a little bit. And then get changed for the show and dinner. Yep, we got the Golden Mickeys tonight. And then after the Golden Mickeys, we have dinner. At Enchanted Garden. Enchanted Garden. Which I always don't feel good at. And it's not the food. It's just like where it is. And I don't just don't. I always think that Enchanted Garden's had the best food. Yeah. Like I do like Enchanted Gardens a lot. But yeah. Taking a nice, easy first night on the food. Relaxed a shot. Yeah, it's been a while, but I love when you're able to access all the different activities on your phone. I have this app downloaded on my phone, but I never get to actually use it until I'm on the ship. Jen found some cool magnets. Look, it's Forky. And Forky, but Haunted Mansion. Oh yeah, and Forky. Yeah. All right, we are heading back to the room to get ready for the Golden Mickeys tonight. We saw it on the dream the first go around. Fantastic show. All right, Jen, we're about to go into the Golden Mickeys. Gonna sit on the balcony. I love the Golden Mickeys. All right, guys, so can't report inside the theater, so we'll see you in a little bit. All right, we are in the main lobby because we're about to watch the pumpkin tree lighting. I don't know anything about it. We've never done this. This is one of those Halloween on the high seas exclusives. Hello, greetings. Welcome. Oh, welcome. Did you all feel that? That was the memory of some old Halloween past. Now, speaking of the past, you're all here to see the pumpkin tree, are you not? Oh, I mean, you do know what a pumpkin tree is, don't you? Why, this is a pumpkin tree. It's a very special kind of tree, for it blooms on only one night of the year on Halloween. Within these dark, narrow branches lie the remnant spirits of some old Halloween memories past. There's still one thing we need to do. We need to wake it up. When to do that, we need the perfect spooky atmosphere. And the best way to do that is to tell a story. A ghost story. My favorite is the legend of Sleepy Hollow. One cold October night, a certain Dutchman by the name of Ichabod Crane was making his way to his home in the hollow nearby. Now, at midnight, Ichabod came within sight of the cemetery. It was a dark night with no moon, and the only light came from his lantern. He stumbled on a log, whistling to himself to keep up his courage. Suddenly, before his very eyes, a white mist began to rise from the floor of the cemetery. He stopped. His heart pounding with fear. And before his dark eyes, a white man burst forth from an unmarked grave and formed into a large horse, carrying a headless rider. He let out a terrible scream as the horse stepped towards him at a full gallop. Ichabod took to his heels, running as fast as he could for a bridge nearby. For he knew that those. Oh! 
dark night from that day to this one. Lucky for all of us, the horse began to swim. Or can he? <laughs> oh, but now, the perfect atmosphere, I say it is the perfect time to wake up the pumpkin tree. What do you say we all try it together and see what happens? Are you all ready? faces and innocent eyes, you are all here for fun and surprise! Bring them to life, it's Halloween! all cruise long. Uh, calm down over here now. Adult entertainment isn't exactly what it sounds like. Uh, but my friends, I do have an action-packed program over the next four nights and it all starts right here. We've got an action-packed evening. So we're going to get started uh, with a little game called Snippets. And my friends, I've got some music trivia champions in the room. I see you. And so to play Snippets, this is how it is going to work. We're going to split you into two teams, which you've already done. Everybody over this side, you are going to be one team. Wave at each other, high five, make friends shake hands, whatever you guys need to do. Everyone on this side, you are going to be another team, wave at each other, high five, make friends, uh, and keep the noise down. Uh, now, everybody on this side, from my vantage point of 12 inches into the sky, I have seen that you guys are all very good looking people. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously with the lights and smoke, I can't really see, I'm just kind of guessing. And everybody on this side, you guys, I'm not saying you're not good looking, that wasn't what I was implying, especially not look at you, sister, beautiful. Uh, but I think you're all very intelligent people, would that be a fair assumption? Absolutely, she's nodding her head, sister knows all about it. Uh, so we have our good looking and our intelligent teams, my friends, and this is how it is going to work. I am going to play you a little snippet, a little sound effect, it could be absolutely anything. Uh, now, all I need for you to do is wave me over. I will be coming over to you. If you can't directly identify what the snippet is, I will give you 10 points for your team, and everybody will scream, cheer, go wild and crazy like this. Very good. If, however, you are a stupid person and you get the answer incorrect, we will make a really sad noise like this. Oh, very sad. Well done. Our next one goes like this. Oh my god! 
Yeah. She got it underneath him and she forgot it, and then you held my hand at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Explain yourself. <laughs> oh, that'll do it. The next one, friends, goes like this. Anything knows it. Come and find it out there. That's all you're getting. Somebody out there knows it. Let's play it one more time, friends. Everyone in the corner, they know it, Dave. The boys know it. She's coming back. And who's it going to be? It's not SWAT. <laughs> Inspector Gadget is correct. Well done. Excellent work, gentlemen. I'm sorry you've never heard of Inspector Gadget. No, I have. Oh, but you relied on your husband. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the question on everyone's lips is why did you marry him? Not for his TV feed. Honestly, he was the first person to go out. You never should have listened to him. Alright, Jen. Let's see what our animal's gonna be. What's our towel animal? Is that what that is? I think so. Yeah, it kind of looks like a seal. And they took my sunglasses. Chocolate! And more chocolate. Don't throw it at the seal. What's wrong with you? Where's What's my wrong? blanket? I'm cold. <laughs> it is a little chilly. Oh, they folded our blanket up right oh, over there. Love that mouse keeping. So now we're back at the stateroom. And I'm cold. Jen's cold. I don't know what it is about the dream. I'm always cold. <laughs> Let's start with the Golden Mickeys. Golden Mickeys, great Amazing. show. Love that show. It's one of my favorites. Um, I was really bummed they didn't have it on the fantasy. Yeah. Uh, but this was on the dream before and uh, still a great show. What was your favorite part of the show? I I'll tell you what I liked most about it is it reminded me of World of Color out in California. Yeah. It was IPs, intellectual properties of Disney, and kind of stitched together all in a sequence, yeah. telling a story, um, one song to the next, you know, Lion King, Tarzan, all that stuff. I don't want to give too much away. Uh, it was fun to see Bob Iger in there. That was yeah. that was a fun little uh, cameo. But no, it's it's a very cute story. I think it's a very well done show, and the ending's fantastic. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I like the Lion King part. The Lion King yeah. part, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a great show. Definitely recommend to go see it. Usually it plays the first night of uh, the Dream Cruises. I think it's only on the Dream, though. And then on to dinner. We mm -hmm. had dinner tonight at Enchanted Gardens. Uh, Jen, did you get sick in Enchanted Gardens this go-around? Got a little, little, little. Little? But not the way it was gotcha. before. As you know. I took Dramamine before. <laughs> she gets sick when she goes to Enchanted Gardens, probably because of its being on the very low you level. You feel and, it so much. Yeah. Better. So, um, obviously, food was great. Yeah. Um, once again, Enchanted Gardens, always my favorite on all the cruises. I don't know what it is, but the food just tastes better mm -hmm. in my eyes. Um, what did you have? So, I had lobster ravioli, as per usual. <laughs> and then I tried all the ones that are guest favorites that they favorited. That's a good idea. So, that was lobster ravioli. And then I got um, asparagus and lobster soup which i thought it was gonna be a salad because it was in the soups and salads <laughs> yeah it came like, out oh. weird i was like it was really good though but i don't know if i'd get it again just because yeah. i don't know it's, it's it was good green but yeah it was interesting. i don't know about eating green <laughs> soup it's kind of weird and then but. the last guest favorite was the prime rib it was really good yeah yeah it was really good yeah. i couldn't finish the potatoes though because i was like so full and then for me i had the tomato soup which was fantastic. Um, on the fantasy, it had like a marinara thickness to it. This one was more of a soup consistency, so loved it. Dipped the dinner rolls or bread in it, uh, which was really good. Um, for the main course, sorline steak. What else is new? I just get that every single time. But it was cooked fantastic, great flavor, loved it. Um, can't go wrong with that. Desserts. Oh god. Okay, so I oh, got the geez. brownie sundae. Delicious. Brandon got literally a lot and then they celebrated his birthday, so he yeah. got one more of a lot. So I got I don't even know what I had. I had like an orange cake. I don't even remember the exact name. Our <laughs> orange yogurt cake. I feel like that had a different name cuz it was the same dessert that I had on the fantasy. But I feel like I had a different name than orange yogurt cake. I feel like I wouldn't have gotten it if it said orange yogurt cake. I think it had a different name. I don't know. I'll have to look at that. Um, what else did I get? I got 
The chocolate brownie sundae, uh, classic, uh, very good. And then the birthday. <laughs> and then the birthday birthday mousse. Celebration. Yeah, so I had three desserts, and the weight crew, awesome. Oh my god, they're so fast, they're so they, funny. Very quick, Ugh. very fast, they were doing a little game with the crayons, like little puzzles Which I swear stuff. we've done that one before, I don't remember <laughs> the outcome. I think it was worded differently. I yeah. think it was worded differently this time. And that's what threw us for a loop. Because I was like, I could have sworn I remember doing this one. Yeah. And then after dinner, we went to uh, Evolution. <laughs> which is, I guess you could say it's like the tube. Yeah. Uh, the entertainment area. Uh, for snippets. And guess who oh, was there? I'm so happy. Chris. Oh, I'm so now, happy. For those of you who don't know Chris, Chris was our club host Gosh, on the, the previous fantasy. cruise. On the Fantasy. Oh. So he is now on the Dream don't know oh how long he's God. on the dream, but he is on the dream. And Four nights is not enough for Chris. <laughs> no. Oh, no. I'm so sad. Chris is awesome. And, of course, I put a little bit of snippets in there so you can see it. So happy. Oh, I'm so happy. He's a great end to the night. Oh. Uh, great personality. Very witty. Very We quick said hi. He gave us hugs. Yep, yep. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, 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 it was a fun first day of embarkation. Yeah. Day. So tomorrow we have Nassau. Uh, we got a port adventure at Atlantis. Don't yeah. know all the details on that yet. I just know it's a port adventure at Atlantis. I think we have like the beach thing. Yep. And then oh. we've got dinner at Royal Court. If you like the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet, be sure to tap that subscribe <laughs> button and tap the notification bell as well. That'll give you notifications on when we drop a new video every Monday and Friday. And if you haven't yet, be sure to follow us on Instagram as well. So until next time. See you real soon. See you real soon.